Basic of Structure Steel Connections Joining structure members by bolting. In it, bolt with nuts, and washer is used. This connection is done when, riveting is difficult to perform. Second is, joining structure section by welding. It is done by heating the members. There are three types of weld, corner weld, T-weld and lap weld. In arc welding, gas is used, as shown in picture, red small cylinder is LPG. And tall cylinder gas is oxygen. Accessories of cutting set are hose pipe made of rubber 20 mm, NRV, non-return valves. And, flashback arrestor. Nomenclature of members, 1. Is column base plate, it is provided below column. So as column load spreads to larger area, also it helps to transfer loads to concrete foundations. Plate is welded to the end of the column, it is attached to the foundation through anchor bolts. Anchor bolts are casted into concrete base, and ground is poured into the space below the plate and concrete. Next is, nomenclature of members, of cleat angles. Brackets are made to form angles. They help to support structural steel members. And to secure structural elements at right angles. Then comes, nomenclature of members of gusset plates. These are plates that are used to connect beams and girders with column. Or to connect truss members. The connection can be, bolted riveted or welded. Now let us understand type of connections of steel member. 1. Simple connection this transmits only shear force, they have negligible resistance to rotation and stability is achieved by bracing. They are of two types flexible and fin. In simple connection, first is flexible connection. Here the end plates are welded to beams and beams then bolted to supporting beams of column. This connection only transfers in shear. Finally, in simple connection second is fin connection. It is easy to install, and there is no sharing of bolts. Column splices, these are connection between two structural members. For a tall structure, columns needs to be joined. Typically. It should be 600 mm above floor level, it can be done by bolting or bearing plate. Bracing, it is usually attached by bolting to a gusset plate, which is itself welded to the beam or to the column. It helps to transfer wind loads from walls, and roof to foundations. Let's know the advantages of using structure steel. It has high strength. It has excellent ductility and seismic resistance. We can have elasticity and uniformity of material. Ease of fabrication and there is speed of erection. Disadvantages of structure steel are Susceptibility to corrosion Loss of strength at elevated temperature Susceptibility to buckling Fatigue and brittle fracture